All right, well, the Warriors have been greatly affected by the coronavirus outbreak. And, of course, New Zealand have had some pretty strict travel measures put in place. Uh, their halfback, Blake Green, is kind enough to join us via Fox FaceTime in their makeshift camp in Kingscliff. Blake, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Now, Todd Greenberg, he, he addressed the playing group last night and he, he proposed that you guys stay in Australia here for 16 days. Now, the players, the Warriors, have had a vote. And what have they decided to do? Yeah, thanks for having me on, Bonnie. Um, I, you know, obviously Todd was Todd was great to be honest. He was um, you know, really open and honest with the situation, and um, yeah, things can change it, it sort of on a day-to-day -day basis. So, um, you know, at this stage, we we agreed to um, stay in camp at Kingscliff uh, for the next seven days and um, continue on to round two in, in our game against the Raiders at uh, Seabus Stadium. Blake, I know it's a long way off and you just touched on that game against the Ra Raiders in round two, but beyond that, what's the feeling amongst the playing group? Um, oh, to be honest, Hoops, I'm, I'm not 100% sure where, where everyone's at. We've obviously had, um, we've had two guys that uh, decided to head home uh, this morning. Um, you know, one of them with the impending uh, you know, birth happening uh, next week. Um, you know, Paddy Herbert just had had a baby about two weeks ago. Where um, it's just you know his partner there in Auckland on her own. So it was important that they went home and, and provided you know the necessary support for for their family. So um, with the the rule change, but you know by the government and the closing the borders with the isolation in Australia, um, you know there's no chance for for us to bring over players um, within the next two weeks, which which makes it challenging for us. Blake, can you take us inside those discussions that you had with Todd Greenberg? We understand that he came and uh, met with you guys at the hotel last night. And what were the players' biggest concerns in amongst that meeting? Um, oh, a few things, Mick. We um, obviously, you know, we've got a, a pretty big, um, uh, I guess, a number of, of sort of you know Polynesian boys here that are huge on, on family. Yep. Um, you know, as is you know, you know, obviously everyone that that. Um, plays in the NRL, but you know, in particular, those boys, they were, you know, a little bit concerned about, you know, how long they potentially would stay away and, and not see their loved ones. So that that was an issue. We also only came over with a backpack, mate. We you know we were here for two days to play a game of footy. We don't really have anything um, in terms of you know clothes or, or, or here to, to prepare for, for for a game of footy. So um, you know, at the moment, I think it's important that we approach it week by week. Uh, we, we got a game of footy and, and a performance that we need to put on on Saturday. So yeah, at the moment, that's our focus. Blake Braith here, mate. At the start, it was well, I thought you guys were going to stay for a few weeks. That was the, the original decision. But did you guys change to head back after seven days? Was that the decision that was made today? I, I just think, Braith, because of the uncertainty of, of how everything was going, we're, obviously uh, the NRL sort of received some intelligence that... Um, that Australia was going to make that decision on their borders uh, today. So um, because that prevents us sort of bringing people over and putting them in isolation, we just decided that, uh, you know, we would we would choose to do the, the seven days up here and see where it takes us. You know, for all we know, the comp, the comp could relocate somewhere else and, and we'd be on the move again. So we just thought we'd just go week by week and then, you know, Todd will address us and, and give us an update when necessary. Well, Blake Green, really appreciate your time. I know it's uh, very troubling for you and, of course, all of the playing group and the families and the fans and the members and all the staff associated with the New Zealand Warriors. Uh, we wish you all the best. We hope you can enjoy just an extended stay and, and hopefully we'll get a solution really, really quickly. Cheers, Bonnie. Thanks.